Manx Radio Saturday Live Lounge, supported by Villa Gaiety. For the latest Watson information, visit villagaiety.com. Olivia Dean, and it's got such a lovely vibe. That is Dive from her. It doesn't sound like Dive, admittedly, but it is Dive, I promise you. Uh, it's 5.22 here on Manx Radio, and I am joined uh, by only Mr. Jeff Jepson. Faster my Jeff, how are you? Faster my, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Kiss town, fella. <laughs> Bill is gargan. <laughs> I, love the, I love the, you know, a bit of Manx. A bit, That's bit, the end of it, really. bit Ben Gilg, a little bit of Manx. Oh, you lost me now. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Koosh at the, at the moment as oh, well. Know, it's the Manx yeah, Language yeah. Festival, yeah. so yeah, they had a lovely time in Castletown today. They were doing um, songwriting workshops in Manx, I believe. Oh, yes, I know about that because Chloe Willie was telling me about that because yeah. of this. We're jumping ahead here, but I've got like a Christmas EP coming out. Yeah, and I, Dave Kilgallen comm- commissioned me to write like a Christmas song uh, with a Manx theme. So it's in English, but I think it's going to get translated into Manx as well. Oh, that's so. cool. That is oh that could go forward for that competition maybe the I one think, in yeah, Ireland. That might be a, the part of the plan. Oh, the very cool. Plan. Well, we'll come back to that because yeah. it's not Christmas yet. Shush. Yeah. Um, but what we are going to talk about is the fact you've got a new album out. I have indeed. It's yes. been a bit of time in the making, hasn't it? Quite a while. Yeah, ridiculous yeah. amount of time to be. So, honest. so when did you start putting this album together? Uh, some of those tracks are probably like maybe ten years <laughs> old. <laughs> some of the words. some of the drum parts are, are that old. So why has They've it taken whiskers. this long? Do you think? I've no. I'm just really fussy <laughs> I've just just the endless capability of faffing because I got my own studio in in the house so I can just keep messing with it and then I'm you know it's never ending it's like the Sistine Chapel do you still so, now put it on and listen to it and go oh if only I'd pulled yeah. this up a little oh, bit or yeah, drop yeah. this a little bit oh yes absolutely oh, yeah. no. I just can't stand listening to it anymore <laughs> I'm absolutely sick of it <laughs> so how many instruments do you play on this album um well like so acoustic electric guitar bass drums keyboards um, that's probably about it I think that's enough yeah I think that's enough didn't quite work in the nose flute on this one that <laughs> might be on the next album <laughs> have you actually got a nose flute I haven't actually right get that <laughs> Christmas sorted. hint mother. get that sorted please yeah he wants a nose flute for Christmas <laughs> um, so if some of these were written 10 years ago then mm. when you listen to them now what does that make you feel like um, I don't know because I'm already I was already feel I'm a bit kind of outside of them I, that's kind of part of the process really because I don't like it to be a kind of outpouring every time so I always try and kind of move outside the song and then reinterpret it as if I'm doing a cover so oh very good yeah yeah. but yeah they do kind of change a little bit I suppose as well you know in terms of like what the what the feeling was when I was writing them it's always like a totally different feeling when I'm performing it again and do you with your albums it always feels like you do have a definite sort of flow with them so does that make it tricky to write the newer stuff to make it fit with the old stuff or does it just sort of Um, all fall into place I just kind of cobble it together (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> to be honest. I was trying I was to make like, you sound really clever there, Jeff. <laughs> Sorry. It's just like, well, yeah, that one's done. That's that's good enough. That's going on. <laughs> and how has it been received so far? I mean, I, I've had messages anyway from people saying it's awesome, which oh, is always lovely. Well, that's really nice. Yeah, yeah, it's been pretty well received and it's like... Uh, it's it's very far from Taylor Swift territory, but it's getting quite a few streams. So it's like more than my usual lot of streams. So that's quite quite nice, really. So it's called. We should say it is called Meaning Waves. Meaning Waves, and it's out now, isn't it? It's, so yeah, people it came can out stream on it. Friday the thirteenth. Yeah. Of October. Was that intentional? Uh, kind of intentional, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm not superstitious or anything. No, so but you thought, oh, like, there you go, yeah, that's kind of that fun. That sounds good, yeah. <laughs> Just, yeah. Well, we're going to hear what we're calling, I suppose, sort of the lead single Kind of a it. single, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's called Here Comes Trouble. Tell us about a bit about it before we hear it then. Um, well, I think we've talked about this before. I don't totally like explaining lyrics too much because yeah. it kind of spoils it for the other person. But uh, it's kind of the the idea of like just everything being awful and you just want to dive under the covers and hide, really. I nice suppose. little link to the previous track called Dive. Very oh, good. Well, there you go. And when was this one written? Uh, that's probably like four or five years old. I'd okay. Say. So I've been playing this live quite a lot, you know, over, over the years. And just, again, hadn't really got round to like a nice definitive recording of it. So Are you happy with this I'm one, I'm happy Jeff? with this one, yeah. This All right, that's good to hear. In the well, bag. We think it's fab. So nice. this is new music from Jeff Jepsen, sort of new music from Jeff Jepsen. <laughs> this is called Here Comes Trouble. Sounds good. 
song and I have heard it a few times because I've heard you playing it Jeff but it is so different hearing it kind of as a recorded thing mm. as a finished product yes a yes. semi-finished product <laughs> <laughs> no it is finished it's definitely finished it now. is finished That's it. well I'm very happy to say that in a few minutes uh, Jeff is going to be playing live for us in the studio but that track was Here Comes Trouble the lead single from Jeff's new album Meaning Waves just remind people where they can get hold of it where they can hear it uh, you can hear it on Spotify and Apple Music and all those streaming platforms and on my website and on my band camp so my website is jeffjepson.co.uk and um, and can and people get cds in people from the yolden times might like a cd so i want a cd does that make me yolden <laughs> <laughs> well sorry to break it to you oh no uh, but uh yeah I, I wasn't planning on putting cds out but then uh, the last gig that i did in laxi institute i sold about 10 cds so yeah people are We're, still buying on them. the isle of man we still want cds yeah yeah so. I've still got a CD player in my them. car. I love yeah, it. Yeah, I know. It's a really good way to learn yeah. an album, I think. Exactly. It's how, it's also how I learn lyrics for when I'm <laughs> <laughs> So I just have my little Revelettes thing on loop. Oh, uh, yeah. But it is a beautiful, beautiful thing, and it's well worth getting. So uh, he's going to play something live from it shortly. But I always like to hear music that, uh, that, uh, that my guests enjoy. And you've chosen a group that I absolutely love as well, and I got to see... 
Oh. Yep. In Bristol. I happened to be in Bristol when they were there. Uh, and it was a fantastic gig in a church. You'd mm. have loved it, Jeff Jepson. Oh. Uh, tell me, who are we going to hear now and why? Who are we going to hear? Oh, Midlake. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to hear Roscoe by Midlake. And, and why do you want to hear it? Uh, it's just a beautiful track. It's... Um, They've gone in quite a lot of different directions, but that that first album, The Trials of Van Occupantha, is just, it's so beautiful. And it kind of sounds like it's from like 100 years ago Doesn't somehow, it? but then it also sounds really modern. And it's it was also incredible. at a similar time to Fleet Foxes happening yeah, there. And yeah, it, it, was that, it was almost like people putting out sort of medieval music, which yeah, was just yeah. amazing. <laughs> yeah. Well, again, it's a fabulous tune. I'm very glad you've chosen it. This is Roscoe Midlake. Yeah. 
so good. Roscoe by Midlake. Um, are you jealous that I saw them, Jeff Jepson? I am extremely jealous. <laughs> I'm a bit and they annoyed. Were, oh, it was so ethereal because it was in a church as well in yeah. Bristol. It was just amazing. Oh, wow. uh, and again, Trials of Van Panther. What an album. Yeah, it's a peach. Yeah, I have to say, full disclosure, I don't have any of the more recent ones. No, I've, I've kind of lost track. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't kept up with them. So good, though. So yeah. good. Yeah. Um, Right, you have a guitar with you. I, oh, yeah, so yeah. I do. <laughs> Who knew? And you're going to play something live for us now. What are we going to hear? Uh, we're going to hear Please Note. And how old is this song, Jeff This Jackson? one's fairly recent. Yeah. It's not too much older than the album, I don't think. I can't really remember, to be honest, but yeah. And do you enjoy the doing these things sort of in a stripped back acoustic way? Yeah, yeah, I liked a bit of a... A kind of a mixture I felt I've kind of set the album out initially it was going to be kind of loud quiet loud quiet and then I just went like loud mostly loud and then mostly quiet just to kind of like tail off it's well it's beautiful it's like I side say. one side two kind of a vibe oh and you, but you haven't done yeah. a vinyl I know oh, maybe, maybe next time yeah has to be a colourful one as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, this is Jeff Jepson playing live for us in the studio. Jeff, take it away. Please know, please know, your time with me is temporary. Please know, please know, the world is everything that is. Please know, please know, this all will end eventually. Please know, please know, this all will fall. Never saw myself taking a stand like this. Who am I fooling though? Is this changing anything? Thought you'd see the circus for just what it is Instead of another clown Distracting us from all that's plain as day This thinking that will steal your soul away You're lost to me for now, it's sad to say Please know, please know Your time with me is temporary Please know, please know, this all will fall Please know, please know, the world is everything Please know, please know, this all will fall Never saw myself taking a stand like this Who am I fooling though? Is this changing anything? Thought you'd see the circus for just what it is Instead of another clown Distracting us from all that's plain as day This thinking that will steal your soul away You're lost to me for now, it's sad to say Please know, please know Your time with me is temporary Please know, please know The world is everything that is Please know, please know, this all will end eventually. Please know, please know, this all will fall. Will fall. Will fall. Will fall. Jeff Jepson, that was absolutely beautiful. Oh, please note. You. I should just say, please note, I've just had a message in uh, off of Joe Collister who says that uh, Violet is listening. This is Ooh. Joe's daughter. And Violet says Jeff has the voice of an angel. Oh, thanks, Violet. Do you want me to finish the sentence? Because the rest of the sentence is that says, no matter how old he is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, we we're going to get you, on to Violet, that, I think. You absolute <laughs> superstar. Tiger Club forever. Ooh, um, that Jeff, was that was wonderful. Uh, I tell you what we're going to do now. We're going to do your firsts because I want to play one of the artists that you've chosen. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to quickly run through your first with you. So okay. what was the first album you bought and what format was it? Okay. Well, uh, so this is also going to age me terribly because <laughs> it's uh, Dog Eat Dog by Adam and the Ants. 
uh, and that was a seven inch single. So, I mean, I don't know how they allowed embryos to go and buy records in those days. <laughs> Did um, you get it from Woolies or Shocks uh, or? I can't remember. <clears throat> it might have been Woolworths, I think. Yeah. yeah. And used to I get got, all my music in Woolies. Yeah. And then the album, Kings of the Wild Frontier. So, what an yeah. album as yeah, well. It's crazy. Do you year. still listen to it now? Uh, I don't I don't put it on, but I still enjoy it when I hear it. You know? Yeah. Because um, it's just like all that kind of it's weird mishmash of like punk and kind of western themes and then kind yeah. of african drumming it's just like totally off the wall for it's what so was weird. basically like a, a boy band like a pop yeah. pop star band sung by pirate yeah. um it's wonderful stuff it's, it's my sister's favorite as well diana mm. i always have to mention her yeah. um okay so that's your first album you bought yeah. excellent or first record you bought loving that one uh what about do you remember the first gig you saw so like the first live performance you went to um so i can't really remember the first kind of famous person kind of band that i saw but the first gig that i remember going to was at st ninian's uh it was like at the end of year concert um, and there were loads of like skits of the headmaster and stuff like that. But then there was this kind of very serious synthesizer band called Standing Tactics. What which, a great name which for a band! Contained Martin Thomas and Phil Reynolds. Martin, who is now in who, your who band, who now plays with me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he'd be delighted at being reminded of this. And um, uh, Phil Reynolds, a musician and producer, and uh, yeah. the only person I know who did a John Peel session. I, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Was that Colon? Colon. Yeah. yeah. Another yeah. great band name. <laughs> <laughs> Phil's got them all. I'm afraid he really does. Uh, well, that's good fun. And what, so that what, did that kind of stick with you, having seen that live yeah, performance? Yeah, that was yeah. quite impressive. Yeah. yeah. So, and what about then? Do you remember the first time you ever played to people? I think it was at Bangor University uh, at the folk club in the basement of. Uh, um, the student union, which I think was called Nelson Mandela Hall, because I think they were all they called were that all at that called time. They were all called Nelson Mandela Hall, yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> or so, the Freedom yeah. Bar, one or the other. So, yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd kind of been writing my own songs for a couple of years by that point. I'd, I'd actually started writing little synthesizer songs after seeing Standard Tactics and then moved on to guitar after buying a Bob Dylan album. So then I was doing kind of that sort of Dylan-esque early, early kind of songs like in that style. Are there any of those songs that survive that you still do now? Um, yeah, too relaxed to say. That's from that time. That, I wrote that when I was like eighteen. Wow, so, that's yeah. good. well done. God, yeah. already writing great <laughs> songs. Um, and then also, what we're going to hear now mm -hmm. is uh, the first artists always come to mind if you say, "Okay, recommend someone to me." So basically, who's your kind of go to? Uh, it is Sufjan Stevens, um, who is like ridiculously prolific. It's just like it's just records coming out of him the whole like all the time and working with other people as well he's yeah. really good at collaborating with people yeah. too yeah just really really beautiful and diverse so the first album of his that i got into was uh come on feel it illinois so good so, so good. he had he had this project of doing a, an album for every state of the usa which yeah. kind of only got as far as illinois and michigan I yeah think. there was only two I think. but then there yeah. was even there was like a whole other album of outtakes from illinois so that was like a, another album in itself and he is also Mr. Christmas. So uh, when is, it comes yeah. to Christmas, you've just got to put yeah. Sophie and Stevens on. Well, yeah. listen, I think this tune we're going to hear now is from Come On Feel Illinois mm -hmm. uh, Chicago. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called Excellent, Excellent, Excellent Song. So this is Sophie and Stevens. With 
my friend. We slept in parking lots. I don't mind. I don't mind. I was in love with a place in my mind. In my mind, I made a lot of mistakes. In my mind. In my mind. You came to take. Crying in the van with my friend, it was for freedom from myself and from the land. I made a lot of mistakes. 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 You came to take us. All things go, all things go to recreate us. All things grow, all things grow. We had a mindset. All things know, all things know. You had to find. Duffy and Stevens. You can't go wrong. That is Chicago from the album Come On Feel Illinois. Do you see what he did there? But check out any of his stuff. It's very eclectic as well. And my favourite Christmas albums of all time are Sophie and Stevens. Always got to get those on. Listen to that. How beautiful. And I know it's not Christmas yet. However, uh, Jeff Jepson, who's my studio guest and who chose Sophie and Stevens, um, we mentioned at the top of our chat, you've got a Christmas EP coming I out. Tell me more. I have got a Christmas more. EP. So, um, yeah, I've, I didn't really intend for these two releases to be kind of so bunched up together. But obviously Christmas is a bit of a concrete deadline that I can't really do anything about. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so, yeah. Um, Dave Kilgallen commissioned me to write uh, a Christmas song with a Manx theme for last year's Winterfest, um, and then I already had a Christmas song out. Uh, yeah, which don't get me anything, playing, yeah. so which I've like remixed and kind of re-recorded a little bit, and then I had written two other Christmas songs as when well. When you say so. remix, you know I'm imagining it with rappers on it now. <laughs> <laughs> Please well, don't you, get me you imagine anything. Right. <laughs> Uh, so what so, else is on it then? Uh, so then there's a, there's two other tracks. So there's one called The Last Snow I Saw and Sparkle. So that's the title of the EP, Sparkle. I can really imagine you doing Christmas EPs. Mm. This just fits, I think. I mean, it's not like cheesy jazz hands Christmas. You might not even know that they're Christmas songs, but, you know, it's kind of 
that they are a bit tinkly. In so places. when is this going to be released? Tenth of November. That's coming out. Yeah. So that's next week, basically. Amazing. Gosh, you are yeah. prolific at the moment I for the past the ten moment. years. Yes. Um, well, listen, we're going to now hear another tune from the other album, Meaning mm-hmm. Waves, um, and it's called Oh Hello Oblivion. Yes. Which I can't help but say it like that. I'm sorry, it's really inappropriate. <laughs> um, do you want to tell us anything about it, or should we just play it? I think we'll just play it. Okay. Yeah. This this is Jeff Jepson. Oh Hello Oblivion. the effect on them i love it jeff jepson is so good and uh, so that's called oh hello oblivion from the album me sorry i can't help it it's from very noel coward <laughs> I know. or austin powers uh, very it's from the album meaning waves which is out now and you were telling me a little bit about the guitar on that yeah so i've always got little old bits of ideas kind of kicking around and some of them just don't get turned into a song for ages and ages um so that one was from like it was just on a little old bit of cassette so that must have been like from the 90s i think that 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 riff has just been kind of kicking around and then it, it needed to be eventually a song. Eventually it got turned into a yeah. song. Yeah, and it's yeah. it's gorgeous. And again, the album Meaning Waves has got so many different kind of styles and genres and energies on it. It's well worth checking out. Uh, but I have asked you to do a cover just so we get mm-hmm. an idea. Yeah. Um, you have chosen something that I'm quite surprised about. So we're going to hear it in just a moment and you do it so well. But before we do, just remind everyone um, about you've got some upcoming performances that people can see you at. So, yeah, literally just today I organised a little in-store performance in Sound Records on Wellington Street, isn't it? Just yeah. beside uh, by Marxies. Marxies. By Marxies. Yeah. Um, so that's for the late night shoppers on the Thursday, the 7th of December. Fantastic. So, okay. What a lovely little place yeah, to play. Because yeah, be really you're a bit nice. of a vinyl file as well. Well, aren't you? I do so, like a bit of vinyl, yes. Yeah, uh, so, so that'll be, be great. Seventh of December, so get down for that one. And then mm-hmm. also, Gry, you do this Gry, every year, every isn't it? Yeah. Well, I I croaked out of it last year, unfortunately. I yeah, like not very well. Barry White with a hangover. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good. Uh, so hopefully, fingers crossed, to be fine this time. Um, so yeah, so I'll be doing the tracks off the, this Christmas EP. And then I've, I've also been drafted into Truman Falls as well. Now, of so course, I'm playing you have. guitar with them. So that'll be all the usual. 
Slade and shaky kind of nonsense. So, it's always such a lovely night. So yeah. that's the 15th of December 15th this year of December, at St. Yeah. Ninian's. When do so tickets go on sale? Because they do tend to sell they're out. They're on sale now and you need right. to get on it because there's probably about 100 gone already. <gasps> so uh, Oh, my word. There might be sort of 150 to 200 capacity. I'm not entirely sure, but you might end up, you know, standing up if you don't get... Oh, don't get miss it. Honestly, in. if you've not got your tickets yet, um, get them. But not tonight because I've not got mine yet. So, <laughs> <laughs> so don't t- take my so, tickets away. Uh, so you just reserve tickets and then pay <laughs> yeah. on, the, on the night basically so and, and uh, all the money's going to the Isle of Man food bank that's it great stuff um it's always a lovely night and it's lovely to have you with us um i'm delighted you're going to play out with a cover by who jeff jepson well this is a song by chips moman and dan penn called do right woman uh so you might know it by aretha franklin and i also got into it the uh the grand parsons flying breeze over others version so it's kind of halfway between those two awesome anyway. uh thank you so much jeff check out the album meaning waves and uh, this is do right woman Take me to high And I'll always love you And nobody else Could make me do wrong Take me for granted Leaving love unsure Makes willpower weak Temptation strong A woman's only human This you must understand not just a plaything she's flesh and blood just like a man so if you want to do right all day woman you gotta be a do right They say that it's a man's world But you can't prove that by me So as long as we're together, baby Better show some respect for me So if you want to do right All day You gotta be a do right all night man. You gotta be a do right all night man. You gotta be a do. Oh, Jeff, that was completely brilliant. Jeff Jepson playing live in the studio. It's been an absolute pleasure, sir. Thank you very much for being here. Manx Radio Saturday Live Lounge, supported by Villa Gaiety. For the latest Watson information, visit villagaiety.com.